to prefabricated structures in this video today we will be seeing related to tolerances in precast buildings tolerance it is the limiting value of the admissible deviation in the size shape of the finished prefabricate form the design requirements the maximum tolerance values which will guarantee the correct assembly and the efficient functioning of the individual fabricates significance of providing tolerances so what are the significance which we can have which will be used for the providing the tolerances in the prefabricated structures all members are joined together here the tolerance should be needed each joints should be connected by either wet or dry joint the member may not be in exact dimension it may be positive discrepancy or negative discrepancy hence the tolerances are limited to some limit so the particular tolerances will be limited so we need to consider what is the type of joint condition also and how it is jointed also then dimensions and shapes of precast concrete structural members shall be as below so we need to find out what is the amount of tolerance so description and tolerance is is the two columns wherein first will be related to length so in length three categories are there one is not exceeding 3 meter one is between 3 meter and 4.5 meter and third one is 4.5 meter and 6 meter so the first 3 meter not exceeding 3 meter is plus or minus of 6 mm we need to have the tolerance then between 3 to 5 4.5 meter we need to have the tolerances which will be up to plus or minus 9 mm then between 4.5 to 6 meters we will be having 12 mm of tolerance plus or minus so we can say again further that cross section in each direction cross section in each direction which should be not exceeding 500 mm should have or should allowed up to 6 mm plus or minus of 6 mm the particular dimension stresses between 500 mm and 700 mm a plus or minus 9 mm plus or minus of 9 mm the Uh, tolerance should be available and then when it comes to the additional for uh, very subsequent to 50 mm that time we can say it is plus or minus 300 mm which we will be considering then <coughs> the straightness or a bow deviation from intended line not exceeding 3 meter will be having 6 mm between 3 meter and 6 meters will be having around 9 mm none between 6 meter and 12 meter we will be having about 12 mm then for additional or uh, for a very subsequent 6 meter we will be having 6 mm of the particular tolerances so we can also say that squareness of a pre fabric uh, pre cast member so when we see the squareness squareness is the part of the members so here squareness of a corner or a longer of two adjacent sides being checked shall be taken as a baseline and line perpendicular to the baseline shall be taken as the check line so the shorter uh, side shall not vary in its distance from the check line so that the difference between the greatest and the shortest side is not more than the distance specified as and other. so length of a shorter side and tolerance not exceeding 1.2 meter 6 mm tolerance is allowed and between 1.2 meter to 1.8 meter 9 mm is allowed exceeding 1.8 meter 12 mm is most probably allowed sometimes it is not allowed for 12 mm also in exceeding 1.8 meter because the squareness is most required in the precast members because the joints will be there by the two members that time we need to have the member to be into shape intact if the shape is not intact we are not able to have the particular joints properly 
for the purpose of this requirement any error due to lack of straightness shall be ignored means anything if it is not available we will be ignoring it we are not going to consider it squareness shall be measured with respect to the straightness or straight lines which are most nearly parallel with the features being checked when the nominal angle is other than 90 degrees the included angle between the baseline and the check line shall be varied accordingly so it will be accordingly varied between the two edges then comes twist of the precast members and flatness so twist no corner of a nominal plane surface shall deviate from the plane containing the other three corner by more than so we need to consider now more than between 600 mm and up to 6 meter long 6 mm between 600 mm and wide and for any length in the length it should have not more than 12 mm so this comes for the stiff uh, particular twist of the prefabrication concrete members then flatness of a precast concrete members the deviation from a 1.5 meter edge placed in any position on a nominal plane surface should not exceed 6 mm should not exceed 6 mm which we have to consider then comes the part of next thing is joint deformation what is the joint deformation how we are going to consider many of the difficulties that develop in a building are the result of deflections of spanning the members in excess of those allowed for the designer roof membranes are subjected to accelerated deterioration when drainage of a roof slabs fails due to the deflection and may also crack at the intersection of roof planes uh, from excessive rotation of the planes mm, panels so allowance for joint deformation how we need to consider so maximum deflection by a precise or approximate method the critical question is how much deflection can be allowed there is a good deal with uh, excellent literature of a predictions of deflections but allowable um, values are usually limited to a brief node that limits um, such as length divided by 1 6, 1360 of the span uh, will be considered for the particular part of the customary and have uh, worked well in the past the reason for this is the there is a uh, little information uh, available on which the judge the to judge the rationality on the such rules of the allowance then it also takes that the principle of limiting deflection in a proportion to the span appears to have begun means the allowance uh, deflection for any situation should be established from consideration of the material used and associated type of a construction so we are not have to have any kind of material will be used for the construction we need to have the appropriate material the steel members uh, and allowable elastic deformation of that is l by 360 which is normally satisfactorily because dead load deflections seldom the contribution of our deflection problems and design loads are uh, easily seldom by the realizations the greatest portion of the total deflection in concrete member the validity of l by 360 in timber uh, is uh, construction is related to the ratio of permanent to the total load since long term loads uh, do influence to the de total deflection so how much allowance we have to provide for the joint deformation it also relates with the deflection means the deformation how it is going to act on the member in that part of also we need to consider for the joint deformation otherwise the joints will not be proper whenever we are going to construct these type of structures hope you have understood and thank you see you in the next video